Kiyomitsudera literally means pure water temple and it carries over 1200 years of history since it was founded back in 780. It sits on the east side of Kyoto, just over 4 kilometers north of the most iconic temple in Japan, Fushimi Inari, making it a perfect day out to combine both of them and explore them on the same day. So we're on our way to Kiyomizudera Temple, one of the must-see temples in Kyoto and part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Fancy a kimono makeover? Kyoto's got it covered, known to be a magnet for the traditional Japan look. With the prices starting from as low as 3,000 yen, anyone can take the chance and feel like a Cinderella of the Far East, dressed up in a colourful yukata, a type of casual samurai kimono. The temple in the background is one of the temples that you will walk past in order to get to Kiyomitsudera. Uh, it's also a picture perfect moment for some of you who are looking for a quieter spot uh, and not overly crowded ones, especially if you are planning to rent out a kimono or a yukata. Finally, we made it to Kiyomizudera and it's time to get some tickets. So, it's the tickets to Kiyomizu Temple. These are actually really nice tickets. Yeah, they're really pretty. I think the prettiest that I've seen. Yeah, usually tickets are quite basic and plain, but this one's actually quite nice. If you can, time it with the autumn leaf season when Kiyomizudera looks at its best, with the maple leaves turning scarlet and maroon red or cherry blossom season turning anything within its side into the blush pink petal seed. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Help but notice some talismans, incense, and favorite omikuji, aka paper fortunes, up for grabs and good luck. Uh, another spot to take pictures. Standing out from Kiyomizadera gives you a fantastic cityscape view on Kyoto and the surrounding area. The Kyoto Tower is the highest point in Kyoto. It's a very distinctive panoramic view compared to the neon lights of Tokyo from Rapongi Hills.
Hiyomizu Temple, including its wooden stage, stands at 13 metres above the hill, and that's all thanks to the tall pillars supporting the entire temple construction. Strangest thing about it? There's not a single nail used to hold the structure in place. Almost immediately there's a question mark above my head making me wonder, how much weight can this sustain? Now, this might be a little shocking to you, but in English, when one is said to take the plunge, it means you're going to make a decision to do something that you're usually nervous about. However, the Japanese equivalent would be to jump off the stage at Kiyomizu, literally. Basically, during the Edo period, those who were to survive this 13 meter jump off the stage were said to have their wish granted. So take note procrastinators, less thinking and more doing. This beautiful multi-story pagoda was calling our name, so we had to go see it. In case you're wondering, it's called Koyasu Pagoda. Little did we know that the visitors are granted easy and safe childbirths. Alternatively, if you have other wishes, you can try to jump off the stage at Kiyomizu Dera. But it's actually prohibited now, so don't even think about it. If that wasn't enough, Kiyomizu Dera is also one of the most visited temples for the baby blue hide range of flowers in blue, with hundreds of Instagrammers rushing to take the best spots. God damn you, Instagram! Located at the base of Kiyomizu Dera's main hall is the Toa Waterfall. There are three separate streams of water which you can use cups and attach long poles to drink from them. Each stream of water is said to have a different benefit, longevity, success at school and a fortunate love life. Before you decide to try to fill up your big water bottle thinking you could reap all the benefits, drinking from all three is considered greedy so choose wisely. Beware of the crowds, Kiyomizu Dera is always busy, including the steep way up to the temple complex that doesn't seem to deter visitors. With the local Kyoto specialties, you end up with the Kiyomizu sweets and a few other snacks, or enjoy a pleasant afternoon with the tea ceremony in the shades of Kiyomizu Dera. Bringing scooters up there wasn't the smartest choice, but it was a fun ride back down. Oh well, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys! If you liked our video, don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe! subscribe.